Hello and welcome to DFACT of the Month, taken from the NPL DFACT database. My name's Bob Willis and let's consider solder wicking as it relates to reflow soldering. Now solder wicking basically is the preference for solder to either wick to the termination on a component or the pad surface on a printed circuit board. Now this can occur in fine pitch technology where the solderability of the component termination is far superior to the pad. The solder is literally drawn up the termination leaving perhaps insufficient solder at the uh, pad surface interface. It can happen if you move from convection reflow to convection reflow with nitrogen where one surface wets preferentially. It can also occur in vapor phase where perhaps the soldering uh, or the solderability of the termination is superior to one surface or where the heat balance to the pad and the termination is different. However, it doesn't necessarily occur in this way. Solder shorts can also be a wicking phenomena as well or poor or difference in solderability. If you have perfect soldering with no solder shorts and then suddenly start to have solder shorts, look at the solderability of the pins. See if the solder is wicking up the pins as much as it used to. If it isn't, then perhaps the volume of solder isn't being drawn away from the pad interfaces, allowing you to have solder shorts. You quite often hear the comment that I never get as many solder shorts when using nitrogen as I do in air. So just think about how solder wets a surface and how the volume is reduced on the two surfaces in nitrogen as opposed to air.